My focus is on older adults with multiple concurrent chronic diseases. We've constituted health systems and the marshalling and creation of medical and health related knowledge to deal with disease specific entities. We have uh, institutes that are devoted to diabetes and metabolism, to cancer, to heart, heart disease. Uh, we have disease specific agencies, Heart and Stroke Foundation, diabetes, arthritis. But what happens if you have all of those? We don't have a good conceptual model about how to think about multiple concurrent chronic illnesses first. Two, we don't have any clinical tools for managing, teaching, and enabling health professionals to provide optimal care because we don't know what that optimal care is. And three is we have systems of health delivery that are singularly ill-prepared and ill-suited to manage the challenges of uh, uh, chronic diseases, multiple chronic diseases. I work as a family physician. I'm a practicing family physician in an academic setting. My practice is constituted largely by older adults with multimorbidity. So my research is directly informed by the observations I was making in practice. What I do in clinic sustains what I do in research and it returns there because if I can't test out what I'm learning and research back into practice, it's not meaningful. Research informs virtually every dimension of my teaching and teaching informs virtually every aspect of my research, just like clinical practice does. So I try to encourage all of my students to have some component of research in their career. I think for at least health professionals, there's no way we're going to get the knowledge unless we train health professionals to be observers, to look at those gaps between what we think we know and what we actually know and to asymptotically close those gaps. I still want people to believe that your undergraduate experience is the one unique time for four years in your life where you can explore ideas for their own sake. I know there's been a huge pressure on professionalizing and assuring jobs after coming out of undergraduate, but somewhere we need to decide as a society that it's a good time, uh, that there's a time in our lives as citizens where the free pursuit of knowledge for its own sake and all of the attendant skills that come with it is a good in and of itself. I would venture that successful civilizations are those civilizations that provide room and protect space for the intrinsic pursuit of ideas.